Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures with Elsent the Worgen Hunter. Last episode, we defeated Abercrombie and his abomination stitches. We completed the, the hermit quest chain. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. And today we are going to start our quest chain with Jonathan Caravan, Worgen in the woods. Yes, what is it? Make it quick. I've pressing matters to attend to. For the Alliance. Excuse me for my cold reception, Elsent, but... As I'm sure you can tell, I am extremely, I'm extremely busy man. I see that you have impressed Kalor, and I assure you that is no small feat, and that he has given his recommendation. There are unsavory types of foot El sent, and we can use the help of all who have proven themselves. We battle against demons, the undead, and those who would provide them aid. Be vigilant, be wary, and trust none who would not give aid to our cause. Glorify under the light all right so we can get it's pretty nice boots called the cold boots give us four crit 70 armor and four stam so we'll take those good one. we'll put those on can't really see what the boot boots look like as a as a worgen because you know the paws come out but we can change our uh our look here so that's, that's how they look not bad. Gears changed quite a bit since we left Red Ridge. And that was it. Is that it? Isn't there another quest? That's it? Like, thanks for your help. See you later. Okay. Well, I guess that's it, guys. So I guess today, since that's done, we'll uh, we'll start the Legend of Stalvan. I thought we would have gotten more more quests Boy. there. So here is Tobias Mismantle. Not a bad place here if you aren't into the whole sunshine thing. Farewell. I'm here because I received a letter from my brother Stalvan, who I haven't seen in years. On arriving here, I was told he was dead. The entire town refuses to offer any further explanation. Any mention of his name is met with terror and suspicion, as I, if I didn't have enough of that myself. I'm afraid of what will happen if my frustration and anger grows any further. I beg you, help me get to the bottom of this. Implore Clerk Daltrey for any information he may have on my brother. Good day. Okay, so he's the, the brother of, uh, of Salvan. I wonder where Stalvan is. Last episode, we went up here to uh, Manor Mismantle, and uh, Stalvan was not there. He, so I assume either somebody slayed him before I got there, or he was moved. Or maybe he's not even in the game anymore. Hey there. Can I help you? See you later. You want to know about Salvan? You're not the first, you know. We get outsiders coming through asking about him every so often. Always outsiders. Everyone who lives here knows better. You're out of luck anyway. I'm missing half of my archives. Pharaoh Worgen broke into the town hall not a few nights ago and tore the place to shreds. The documents you'll want are probably strewn across Brightwood Grove by now. Deep in the woods to the west. Not worth it if you ask Safe me. Travels. Okay, so we have to get these stashed letters. So this is different. Let's uh, make our way up there. So I remember the, the other Legend of Stalvan quests. You would go to like Goldshire, you'd go to Westfall, like all over the place. A lot of traveling. And I assume they probably reduced that by quite a bit in Cataclysm. And that's usually what takes up most of the time in leveling in a, like a vanilla character is just travel time. It takes you so long to travel from point A to point B. Especially as a warrior. <laughs> Unless you charge stuff. I guess warriors, you know, you can charge on cooldown and you can move pretty quick that way. Stashed, slashed bundle of letters. I wonder if we can read these letters. You can. 
Okay. To the Honorable Headmaster Krillian. Oh, we got them all already? What the heck? Okay. That was easy. To the Honorable Headmaster Krillian, my former master, I write to you so that you might know what your apprentice has been doing of late. Paying heed to your advice, I sought to build my knowledge and wisdom through travel outside the gates of our beloved Stormwind. My journeys took me to many places, but I have decided to take up residence here in the lovely town of Moonbrook. The surrounding fields of Westfall are most beautiful as the harvest approaches. Within just a few days of my visit, I found myself tutoring the local children from the nearby farmlands. The lessons went so well that the town mayor commissioned me to run a school and construction has begun on a brand new schoolhouse from Silver Pine to Stormwind and now Moonbrook. Who would have guessed I would see so much of Azeroth? Warm regards, Stalvin Mismann. Dear noble sir, word of your need for a tutor for your children has traveled to me here in Goldshire where I take up temporary residence in the Lion's Pride Inn. Due to unfortunate the unfortunate state of events in the region, I was forced to abandon my post at, as headmaster at, of the Moonbrook Schoolhouse. Please accept my application to serve as tutor for your offspring. Headmaster Krillian of the Academy can speak to you of my abilities if necessary. I shall travel to meet you in person when the winter rains subside and the roads are suitable for travel once again. Until then, Salvin Mismantle of Silver Pine. All right, so I remember you had to go to Moonbrook to actually get, get that information. Hello. Look, sir, I really don't want any trouble. Have a good one. By the light, you actually went and got it? I'm shocked. I suppose I owe you thanks for returning it to the archives. All right, so we got these gloves, the Craigwood clutches. 61 armor, 4 agility, 4 stamina. That sounds pretty good to me, so we'll, See you around. we'll take those. That is an upgrade. In a dark corner. If you're that serious about this, I'll help you, Elson. I know where the other documents must be. I'm just too terrified to do anything about it. There's only a few places that those horrible nightbane beasts gather when they're not prowling the forest. One of them is the Rotting Orchard to the south. They use the buildings there as, as their dens. So if they haven't just eaten the other documents, you might find one there. But you'll have to search their lairs thoroughly. I wait Safe for you. All right, so we'll head down that way, and we'll probably do this quest, too. Because why not? I have a feeling the Stalvan quest won't be uh, as long as it was in vanilla. I think they probably are keeping it all inside of Duskwood now. There won't be much travel. Which I don't mind, but... It's a cooler quest chain when you have to travel to, like, Moonbrook and check out the schoolhouse. And in my opinion. I think just having it, like, randomly in Duskwood, just random spots, is, uh... It's not as good as the older version. But that seems to be the case. At the moment. We'll see if we actually have to leave. The cool thing about this is more people would actually give this quest to try and actually read the, the Legend of Stalvan in Cataclysm than they would in Classic. In Classic, I bet a lot of people skip that quest chain just because of all the traveling you have to do. It's not really efficient an efficient way to the quest at all. So I think a lot of people would skip it. That seems to be the case nowadays with a lot of gamers. Everyone wants to just... It's been that way for a long time. People just want to get to max level. Well, most people. I assume. So we just got the other part. That was pretty easy. Let's check it out. Giles the boy seems a bit rambunctious and will be a challenge to educate. However, the elder's daughter, Taloa, I think we'll be okay here, seems exceptionally smart 
I couldn't help but to notice her captivating beauty as well. She is on the cusp of womanhood now. Supposedly, the Lord has, a band, has arranged her marriage for next year. But I digress. This week, I will accompany the family to their summer cottage near the Eastvale Logging Camp in Elwyn, close to the Red Ridge Mountains. I hope to write more while there. Most strange and uncontrollable feeling. Never have I felt this the way I did today whilst assisting Giles with his history lesson. Talo was outside tending to the flower garden. After a few minutes, she came inside and placed a scarlet begonia in my open palm and smiled at me in such a way that my heart felt as though it was trembling inside my chest. Alright, so well, we're going to do this quest here. we got to get the corpse weed and this is a new quest chain, it seems like, in Cataclysm, where we are going to try and help the the Worgen here in Duskwood. Black Belly Forager. I don't remember these guys. Hopefully we can skin them. Got her skinning at 122. The, the dirt there. Oh, lurking worgen. Do we have to chase him down? No, I guess we just need to turn in the quest. I wonder what happened there. Let's turn these two quests in here. Getting off the, the Legend of Stalvan quest just for a little bit. I have a feeling this will turn into a quest chain, though. After that little event there that we had at the Mound of Dirt. Good day to you. See you later. Do you have the corpse weed? Have a good one. I thank you, Hunter, and I'm sure the worgen that may be, retur may be returned to sanity with the potion this will make, this will make would thank you, too. Okay, so we got a sword here. On one hand, sword. Don't want that. I think the cloak would be good. Yeah, the cloak of sanity, thirty-three armor, five strength. We'll take that. See you around. And then the Jorgen Worgen sounds like a close call, but he ran off without harming you further. He might still. He might be still fighting it. Master Harris must know. See you later. Delivery to Master Harris. Master Harris will want to know. Of this immediately. Here, take this package of corpse weed down the road to the camp at Raven Hill. Tell him we saw at tell him what we saw at Jorgen's dead. Okay. And that's over there, okay. So we'll eventually do that. Hey, Hearth back. Not too far away. We'll be there in no time. I think if we, act, if we leave the zone, we'll use Hearth. But I wonder where they play Stalvan. Like, I have a feeling Stalvan's still alive. Oh, there's the wolves. These guys are pretty cool. I want to try to tame one of these guys. Can I tame him now? Oh, what the heck? He's got blown up. <laughs> it was from the, the bonfire's blessing. You're taming a beast. 
I think I need to tame it before I attack it. I haven't done this in a while. But we have an active summon out. Okay, so let's, uh... Let's dismiss our pet here. I forget where I put that. I've had this guy out so long. Did I even put it on my bars? I must have. I just don't... I haven't used it in a while. There it is. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so let's try this. I should have hit him a little bit. There we go. We got a new pet. His name's Wolf. That looks pretty cool. Let's see if we uh, can get any talents for him. He hasn't. He has two unspent talents. We'll just do Serpent Swiftness again for him. Increase his attack speed. And he's level 27. Alright, back to Darkshire we go. Good we did that, because then I got to, you know, see where the dismissed pet was on my bars. <laughs> I haven't really done a lot of uh, pet collecting. But we'll do... We're going to collect more than just this pet. I'm going to... We'll test out other ones. This guy's got the Headless Horseman mount. What can I do for you? You're back in one piece, see I see. This was all you found? That's bad news, I'm afraid. Safe travels. This isn't all of it. You should let it go, Elson. The only place left to look is Roland's Doom. That's the mine south of town, and the largest lair of Worgen and Duskwood. Nobody in Darkshire has ever made it back from that place alive. In fact, some of the records I have here imply that's where the monsters first came from. Who knows what evil's lurking in there? Please, Elson, just give it up. Let's just forget about this whole thing and never speak of it again. Good. All right, well, we're going to head down there and invest, investigate. But yeah, that seems to be what they did. They just put it in a bunch of different worgen camps, all the information. Which is good. I mean, uh, it's up. there's ups and downs to it. The traveling allows you to kind of experience Stalvan's journey a little bit more. But this way, you know, you can quickly do the quest without having to, you know, travel all around Azeroth. So it looks like they did something with this mine, which is good. It's a reason to go in here now. Does he have taunt? Yes. He's furious howl. The wolf lets out a furious howl, increasing the critical strike chance. Of all party members by 5%. Yeah, he does have growl. And cower. We're going to have to fight our way in there. having a bit of trouble getting aggro but we should be fine oh, we got a defender's girdle of the bear male waist 87 armor 4 strength 4 stamina this stuff's always good to get you know you can sell it on the auction house make a little bit of coin we're gonna need it if we want to get Get our mount. Now, I wonder if I can just walk by these these organ that are fighting. I think we can. If we don't have to fight them.
I'm gonna try that. Yeah, they're too uh, they're too focused right now. We got blown up. That was from the bonfire's blessing. Did quite a bit of damage there. Oh, look who it is, Nefaru. So there is a, a rare here. Didn't see this person last time. I wonder who this is. And we got Defender's Tunic of the Bear. So that'll probably be leather. Oh, it's male as well. 160 armor, 5 strength, 5 stand. Let's check out this muddy journal page. So probably tell us the rest of the story here. Most certain that she shares the same feelings for me now. She even placed her hand on mine this morning. When she smiles, her eyes light up like glittering diamonds. Unspoken words pass between us. I can feel her in my pounding heart and heated veins. It's like he's falling in love with his student. Anger and fury, the likes of which I never knew existed. How dare she? As I was instructing G Giles in the, more, in the meaning of numbers, Taloa appears before me with a suitor. Holding hands in public, nonetheless. What an uncouth young man. Rather than introduce me properly, Taloa simply said, Oh, that's just my tutor, Uncle Salvan. He's a nice old man. Old? At what? At that word, my cheeks flushed with heat. I am but a few years older, than, and yet she betrays. I told you all of a sudden it's not worth pursuing. Really? You actually went and got it. I don't know whether to call you brave or insane, but once again, my archives, thank you. And we got Adultery Belt. Adultery's Belt, 55 armor, 6 agi. Safe travel. We leveled up to level 28. Page of Salvan Mismantle. You recovered everything, everything except the last page, which I've got right here. Don't look at me like that. You'll understand when you read it. Some even say it's cursed, you know. In fact, I was relieved when the worgen broke in and made off with these. Take it. Take all of it. In fact, I thank you for recovering my archives, but I don't want anything to do with this ever again. Please, just leave me be. See you around. All right, so let's take back the Legend of Stalvan, the entire collection of it. And uh, we'll bring this to... Tobias Mismantle. It looks like we actually get to, to read the whole thing here. Some new new pages. Is that side? Yeah, this page here. No, not that one. Downward Spiral of Despair. First she mocks me and now she is engaged. The ungracious charlatan was pretending to love when truly she desired to hurt me all along. A black void lurks within me now, and it grows with each waking moment. The blood I shall spill pales in comparison to the tears I have shed. What can I do for you? You wouldn't want to see You're me back? when I'm angry. Did you find anything about my brother? Keep your chin up, eh? I can't thank you enough. I had hoped for this to be a joyous reunion. But the more I learn, the less glad I am to have asked. But I must know. Let the light of the new moon this guide. can't be. My brother was strong-willed. 
but such vileness, such sickness, and violent bloody evil. Tobias brings a hand to his face, averting his gaze. I must have answers. I need to know how I got that letter. I need to know if Stalvan really did this. I need to know why. Take my ring, Elsa, and bring it to Madame Eva. The woman is a follower of the old arts and makes no secret of it. Call it madness, but I'll try anything at this point. That's enough cabin for me today. All right, well, this is different. Let's see uh, what Madame Eva has to say. And did we get a level here? No. Next level's at 29. It's weird how the, the level, like the, the the points, the talent points, you get them at, with odd numbers. <laughs> Light be with you. <laughs> I think that's a little weird. What dark whispers guide you to my door, Go Hunter? With honor, friend. How interesting. It's been quite a while since I've seen such a ring. Farewell. I'm afraid I cannot give Tobias the answers he seeks, but I can help you find the only person who can, Stalvin Mismanel. Take the ring into the woods to the east to Manor Mismanel, where Stalvin's body is buried. Enter the hold Enter and hold the ring before you. Let the waning moon pour its light through the ring, and the spirits will answer your call. Take heed, Elsent. The questions of the living can offer more comfort than the answers of the Be dead. Careful. All right, so we have to summon him. Now, I'm pretty sure he didn't have to be summoned in in uh, in vanilla. He was just he just lived there, and no one would go there because they were too scared. But let's summon him. We got the ring in our bags. The Mismantle family ring. Yeah, it's right at the house. It's kind of a dangerous uh, spot here. If he's actually like, tough to fight, I'm going to want to have a little bit of room. My ring. Who holds my family ring? Taloa, is that you? Brother Tobias. It's all true, brother. Every word, you doubted it. But why? How could you? You know why. Surely you felt anger. Anger so foul and vicious that it makes you want to tear someone to shreds. Are you feeling it right now? No, no, stop it. Oh my gosh, guys. This is wild. Who would have known that the Mismantle family is so uh, dysfunctional? <laughs> so let's help him out. He's a fellow worgen. And there we go. You see, brother? We're not so different. No. It's true, though. They aren't. If the people of Darkshire found out that he was a worgen, they would uh, not like that too much. It seems like they don't like worgens in Darkshire. We sent this on many quests to fight them. Well, let's turn this in, guys. We've been walled up for far too Not long. a bad place here, if you aren't into the whole... Oh, yeah, we read that. Long live Grey Man. Pastor Harris may have been right. I would have been better to leave the past behind. I've got a new life now. Whether it's that of a monster or a man, it's up to me. As for you, I cannot thank you enough for your assistance, regardless of the outcome. Please, take this with my thanks. Okay, so we have a decent back piece. Like Everything here is kind of... It's not as good. 
it's what we currently have, so we'll uh, take the burden of shame it sells for the most. Watch your back. And there we go, guys. That was uh, the legend of Stalvan. I'm surprised we were able to complete it in one episode. Pretty good. I like what they did. It, it allows people to, you know, experience the story of Stalvan in like 30 minutes instead of, you know, three hours. <laughs> which is, which I think is, is better, I guess you could say. The traveling is cool, though. But um, next episode, we'll probably head over here to Ravenhill. And it looks like these are going to be the final quests that we are going to have to complete. And we will be done at Duskwood soon. And then we'll probably hop into some dungeons. And, and a new zone. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.